If you can use some tummy TLC after the holiday indulgence, you are gonna love what I have for you tonight. We are diving into my top tools to help you see real results and improvement with your digestion. Welcome to my January Throw It Out Thursday continuing education broadcast. I am giving your digestive system a tune-up and to do that, we need to have a detailed roadmap to calibrate the GPS exactly where we want to go. And on our agenda tonight, I'm gonna to share a few little science quick nuggets about the digestive system and why it plays a bigger role in your overall digestion and your health and wellness than you may actually think. And then we're gonna walk step by step through how to use the new digestive wellness toolkit. And then we are also gonna be, in doing that, we're gonna be kicking the drugstore stomach remedies to the curb and deliver you with easy and effective ways that you can see those real results with your simple daily habits. And then I'm gonna share my personal results with a long-term gentle intermittent fasting schedule that I've adopted since October 2020, and specifically how this approach is backed by science to more deeply improve your digestion. And I'm gonna also debunk a few myths that some of you have that questions that came in that I wanna make sure that I answer for you so that you feel really confident about this tool. And by the time the broadcast is over, you will feel confident and you will feel like a, you have a great understanding of how your digestion truly is the backbone of your total wellness ecosystem. Oh, Julie, I'm so glad, I'm so, <laughs> I'm so grateful that you were able to join us. And to know exactly what to do with those five tools here in this toolkit to recalibrate your digestion from morning to night. And it's just a few of those small sustainable habits make a really big impact. Those pennies in your health bank, they really add up and that is what tonight is all about. So you'll learn how a gentle timed eating schedule can kickstart the improvements that you want to feel in your digestion. So our mission is clear. Are you ready to digest with the best? Grab your family, grab your slipper socks and snuggle in because, oh, speaking of family, if your kiddos are interested in this topic and if they happen to be watching right now, I'm so glad that they are. And The Magic School Bus is a great series of books and the Inside the Human Body is one that I refer to a lot and Olivia loves learning along with me. And um, there's a really great section about the tummy in this book on page 13, 12, and 13. So I highly encourage you to have this dialogue with your kids because as you know, these are tools that you can use to support yourself and your kids at all ages. And you can get it from the library, it's a classic, you can get it from the library or from Amazon. And we are gonna dive in and we're gonna get nerdy for a minute. And we're gonna start with a few fun facts to lay the groundwork for the star of our show, your digestive system. So I'm gonna grab our old pal, the organ apron, as a quick little visual aid because when you eat, your body is going to break down the proteins, the fats, the carbs, the vitamins, the minerals for energy, for cell repair, for growth, and every single part of the digestive system down here is hard at work. There's a lot going on down here. There's a ton going on down here, right? It's like twisty and turny and windy, and there is so much to go on down there. And you can see how long that it takes for food to be digested. And once each part of our food is broken down, that's when our body starts to absorb it. But our digestive system needs time to rest and be properly supported just like you do every night. And so the thing is you wanna really think about your digestion just like your cell phone, just like your computer, just like your body that you recharge at night. And then you wake up feeling restored and ready to tackle the day. And we have around three to 500 different types of bacteria living in our gut. That is a lot. And the gut plays such a key role in so many areas in our immune system, our mental condition, autoimmune diseases, inflammation, allergies. And it's so very important that you give extra, extra TLC to this body system. All, this, all these inner workings that are happening down here. This is so crucial for everything that you want to accomplish in your health and wellness. And so you are going to see results when you start to really dial into that focused area. And so now that we understand why our digestion is so very important, we're going to switch gears a little bit and shift into month one of the new digestive wellness toolkit that I have, that I have here to show you. 
and this is going to help you establish a very simple protocol for your healthy daily habits. And I love that doTERRA is doing this. This is one of, I believe, six or maybe five. I think there's five others, so this makes six. There are five other custom curated wellness toolkits, and I love breaking this down for you step by step so that you can see how these little pennies add up to big gains. So what is this, okay? So this is month one of the Digestive Wellness Toolkit, and this contains five doTERRA tools targeted just for your digestive system. And it comes in this really fun and lovely colored neoprene zipper case. And you can reuse this so you have everything. You can take this wherever you go. There's no excuse not to have your tools with you. And um, the first item that is in here is the Digest Zen Touch. So we're going to dig into each one of these items. This is the Digest Zen Touch. And this is literally and figuratively ready to roll. It's a roller bottle of our best-selling digestive support blend for topical application. And it's diluted with fractionated coconut oil already. It's such an easy button. You just roll this on. Your kids can do this. I encourage them to. Hopefully they already are. You'll have to share with me if your kids are oily kiddos and they love doing this oily life with you because it is so crucial that when we are living this lifestyle, our kids see everything that we do. And so we wanna model those great habits for them. And this is something that you'll do every single day to get in that discipline habit. So for 30 days, so when you get your kit, the intention is that for 30 days, you're gonna do, you're gonna use all these products every single day. And that's how you're gonna really start to see those gains adding up for you. And so for 30 days, you're gonna just roll this blend in circular motions around your abdominal area after your meals, okay? Then the second tool in here is our peppermint essential oil. This is so beautiful. This is so refreshing. For 30 days, you're going to just put a single drop in your water cup. And you can use this also in recipes that I've shared with the protein or in your coffee or tea. Um, but I really love the cooling and refreshing and thirst quenching vibe of the peppermint in my water just plain. And little fun fact about peppermint, the menthol that's naturally occurring in peppermint relaxes the smooth colon muscles that keep your bowels working efficiently. And we want to support every element of your wellness. So this is a great one that you're going to love. So we have our Digest Zen Touch and we have our peppermint essential oil. And then we have our Digest Zen soft gels. And for 30 days, you are going to take these after your meals to support and ease and soothe your digestion. This is soothing and just restoring so that we can digest our food. And these contain ginger and peppermint and tarragon, fennel, caraway, coriander, and anise. And the fourth item is our Terrazyme. This is one of my favorite products. You've heard me talk about it so often. I love Terrazyme. This is also known as gut glitter, also known as the Roomba vacuum cleaner for your gut. And these are digestive enzymes. And in my experience, which is about seven years using this tool every day, these work best at night before bed. And I like to use the analogy of your living room floor. You cannot clean your floor if the kids just dumped a big Big bucket of Legos on the carpet, right? So, and you're trying to vacuum around that, you're not gonna be able to get the dirt or the crumbs or any of those things. So if you wait until everyone is tucked in nice and snug for bed, your Roomba, your vacuum, you can work your magic to get the floor clean. And that's exactly what the digestive enzymes work to do and they work best when you take them on an empty stomach so that they are not competing with your food to be absorbed. They can do the work when there's no food in their way that you've just eaten that needs to also be digested. So they can do their work without being interrupted. It's like the deep clean for your digestive system while your body is resting from digesting your food. And the whole food enzymes break down the proteins and there's fats and carbs, sugar and food material in your gut. And this allows your body to more efficiently absorb the high quality food that you're eating. You're not buying organic food and beautiful food to just sit there and rot, right? You want that food to be absorbed by your body and really help you to be stronger and get all the nutrient density of that food. Now you will take two to four of these per night for 30 days. And a little fun fact, uh, back in 2017, I did a demo using oatmeal to show you how Terrazyme works quickly to break down food. I showed one control bowl of oatmeal that was just cold and completely solid. And then I sprinkled a Terrazyme capsule in the other oatmeal bowl and you could start to see it liquefy.
Amplify. So if you want me to link you to that, just send me a message after the broadcast and I will link you directly to that video that you can watch that with your eyes. There was no editing or anything like that. You can see it right before your eyes. So it's a really great product and I'm so thrilled that they added this into month one because I think everybody needs Terrazyme in their home. And if your kiddos wanna try this and they have some tummy troubles, uh, the beauty of this is that if they're not comfortable swallowing pills yet, you can pop it open just up uh you will just slide it open and the powder capsule will be something that you can uh, put into like applesauce or you can even drizzle it into their smoothie in the morning. Um, so you will take two to four of these per night for 30 days. Again, this is one of my absolute favorite supplements. And then last but not least, this adorable doTERRA branded pill case is a free gift from doTERRA that is included in the toolkit. And the reason is because we want these tools to stay with you. We want you to have a spot for your digestion and soft gels. We want you to have a spot for the Terrazyme so that if you're away from home, you have the tools that you need with you at all times. And there are five spots in here so you can put your digestion, uh, soft gels and your Terrazyme, but I also actually put a dose of LLV in here. Let's see if I can pop this open without spilling them all. Um, I put my LLV in here as well. I'll turn this around and show you. And you can get these cap stickers from any of the oil supply websites. So I have my Lifelong Vitality Pack and then I have the Digestin soft gels and the Terrazyme that come in this kit. So this is a beautiful freebie that doTERRA gave us in here. So it's pocket size, it's like a cell phone. I mean, it fits right in your pocket, it's really tiny. And you can take this everywhere, but it all fits here in this. And to make this even easier for you, so I, I just am so grateful for all of you. And you know that the daily habits are my jam. So what I've done behind the scenes is I created this tracker sheet. So this is a free digital download for everyone, not just on my team, this is gonna be for everyone. So if this is something that you want, just send me a message after the broadcast and I will send you a link to print this, to download it. This is something that I created. I'm making this available to everyone. And after you've gotten comfortable with these tools, then you will start to make those observations and see what's going on in your health and wellness. So there's a little step for every single activity and you'll just check them off. You can color them in, your kids can help you color them in. But I love, I am such a sticker chart person. I love that accountability. And you know, it's like we just tap into our own love language. We tap into um, our childlike creativity and those things that really bring us back to that creative side that whatever it takes to be inspired, whatever it takes to feel motivated is what we want to do. And so for me, that is that sticker chart joy of checking something off. I love coloring it in. I love checking it off. So this is going to be something available to every one of you that's watching. This is a little freebie just from me to you um, and a little sneak peek spoiler alert. I'm going to have one of these for every single one of the remaining kits. So month two will have one, month three will have one. So stay tuned for that. Um, but before you know it, these habits are going to be second nature and that is the habit architecture that's the pennies in your health bank that we talk about every single day and that's one of the things that i love about sharing this lifestyle with you on this platform that i am modeling that behavior for myself this is what i do every day i'm sharing that with you and i love learning from you and seeing you thrive and so this is going to be available for everyone um, now after you finish month one you may decide that you want to move on to month two and you can do that that's a whole another set of five tools and what you'll do is you'll continue using these tools, but you'll also add on additional tools. And so we'll talk about that next month. Be on the lookout for that February 1st. Um, that's when doTERRA is launching month two. So when you opt into month one of the toolkit, then you will be automatically able to purchase month two in February. But like I said, after you get comfortable with these, you can either choose to opt into months two or three, or you can just stick with it. And also another little cool fun fact is this, um, the kit one comes in the in the neoprene zipper case so the little instruction card here that has information on all the products um, if you didn't have me in your life to share it with you and i'll be share, sharing a grid post on instagram as well um, in the coming days but you have a little instruction card so you don't have to feel confused if you forgot what to do with it and then months two and three come in like a little cardboard recycled pouch like a brown paper bag and there's an actual card in there so you can actually take this um, apart and you can use this and you can cut it out. Your kids can have fun and let you cut it out with them or whatever you wanna do, but the card inside here has all of the instructions for you. And I'm gonna try not to rip this. If I do, it's okay. 
because when we make a mess, we are having fun. Um, but you can just cut this out to fit. You can fold it back. But this is the little instruction card, so you can keep this on your fridge with a little magnet or a clip or something. Just cut it out um, and put that in the pouch if you're not sure what to do. But don't forget, after the broadcast, send me a message, and I will send you this document. I'll send you this tracker sheet so that you can, you can share it with me if you want to. You can just keep it private if you want to. It's whatever you choose to do. Next, we are briefly going to talk about incorporating intermittent fasting. And first, I want to help you understand that this is a tool for kickstarting the improvements that you want to see with your digestion and your overall health. And this can be another tool for just feeling confident in your body that you are giving your body the time it needs, just like when you go to sleep every night, just like when you plug in your computer and you plug in your phone, you need to rest and recharge and let your body do the same thing. You need to let your digestive system do the same thing. So first I'm gonna explain what it is, then I'm gonna point out a few benefits to help you complement the work that you're gonna be doing with these digestive support tools. And then I'm gonna give you a little quick start guide for how you can be successful with trying it out and I just encourage you to just try it if this is something that you've never heard of before if this is something that you're not familiar with I just would love for you to watch this with an open mind and if it's not for you it's okay and maybe you'd be open to trying it and who knows maybe you will love it and maybe it will kickstart a lot of great changes in your life so first what is intermittent fasting well it isn't so much about what you eat but it's about when you eat. And so your body is constantly hustling to digest, just like we talked about, and all these areas in your digestive tract are so overworked and overwhelmed. And when they are breaking down and, ab and absorbing the food that you're eating, so fasting is not about starving yourself, but it's about letting the body digest and rest and recharge during a period of the day each day for an extended period of time. So we want to give our digestive tract a break. Just like our cell phone, you got to put the phone down, put it on airplane mode, put yourself to bed, do a meditation and lights out, right? It's the same for our digestive system. And so just like you need to recharge all of those devices, you need to recharge your digestive system as well. And it works by prolonging the period that your body has burned through the calories from your last meal and then begins burning fat. So this was an experiment that I wanted to try during the pandemic. It was another way that I had done some research and learned that it can boost your immune system and it can improve your digestion. And I was super intrigued because I didn't really know anything about it. And a lot of my customers that I really respect and appreciate have be, have have adopted a long-term intermittent fasting lifestyle. And this is something now I've done since for 448 days as of today the day you're watching the broadcast since october 2020 and i plan to continue there is a gentle side of this that is not about focusing on rigidity or feeling restricted i actually personally and i've mentioned this before i actually found it really liberating um and we'll talk about that in a little bit so what were my results well intermittent fasting has improved my digestion tenfold i don't feel bloated after i eat meals anymore bathroom time is extremely comfortable. My menstrual cycles are much more gentle. I have less hormonal head tension. I sleep more deeply, which as we talk about, the sleep and resetting and recharging, just like your phone, your computer, your digestive tract, we need that also. We need that time to rest. I feel more mental clarity. I feel more creative energy. And it has actually also reduced chronic inflammation that I used to feel after my workouts. So it is really a matter of understanding your body's need to properly digest so that your body can properly rest. Okay, so hopefully you are still with me and that you have an open mind and that you're open to just learning. It doesn't mean you have to do it. It doesn't mean you have to implement it. Just hearing it and maybe it'll spark some curiosity. And if you have those curiosities or any questions after you watch, you can comment below on the replay or you can message me directly and we can chat about anything that you are concerned about. But this allows you to really anchor into connecting those daily disciplines to following through with resetting your digestive tract as well. And so improving your digestion plays a huge role in your immune function too. And if you think back to prehistoric times before humans learned to farm, there were hunters and gatherers and they evolved to thrive for long periods of time without eating. 
and it took periods of lots of energy uh, to peer, long periods of energy that they needed to hunt meat and gather nuts and berries. Think Oregon Trail for any of my <laughs> millenniums, <laughs> any of my millennials. Um, and if you're eating three meals a day plus snacks and you're not exercising at all, then every time you eat, your body's running on those calories and not burning the extra fat that your body has stored. And I did see a question, did it help with weight loss? Yes, but that was not the intention of this exercise and of this experiment, but that is a byproduct depending on, obviously if you're eating good things during your, um, your, your, um, your eating window, then yes, that is going to happen. But if you are eating junk food during your eating window, then no matter how much you're resting and resetting your body, garbage in, garbage out. So every time that you eat, you're running on those calories, like I mentioned, that you're not burning the extra fat that your body has stored. And so taking an extended break between eating periods gives your digestive system that time to rest. So you're also intentionally eating for fuel, not for boredom, not for stress, or when you feel emotionally triggered and you can put it in the comments below, you know, many of us would reach for food if we feel tired or stressed or bored and it just becomes a habit. And maybe you do that after dinner every night because you think, oh, I'm hungry, I need a snack. And then you get into this habit of, oh, I need another snack, I need a sweet snack, I need a salty snack, I need a crunchy snack, I need a this snack, you know, and the next thing you know, you've eaten the calories of another meal. And so fasting has been shown actually to improve the balance of the bacteria in the gut. And studies have also shown um, that even short-term fasts can induce long-term benefits for your gut health. And you, and yes, I'm seeing another comment come through and it is so true that you are really craving foods that are good for you. You start to crave protein packed food, fiber packed food, because you are eating to fuel your body. You are not eating out of boredom or stress or emotional reasons. So it's really impactful. And it's, it's also like a mental wellness check in and tune up, you know, it's like, okay, why am I eating? And so when you stop eating in those evening hours, you start to really identify, okay, what's going on? Why was I eating that food? Cause I've been surviving without snacks in the evening for 448 days. Why for my whole 39 years before this or 38 years before that, you know, when I started, why did I think that I just needed a snack at night? Because I'd always just had a snack at night and you don't need a snack at night. Your body does not need that. So, there is more evidence also accumulating that shows that eating in a six hour period and fasting for, um, for or the six hour, the 16 hour fast, and then you would do your eight hour uh, eating window, that that can actually trigger metabolic switch. So that is triggering a metabolic switch from glucose based to ketone based energy. And this results in increased longevity, a decreased incident of diseases, including cancer and obesity. Wait a minute, if we can do something for free, doesn't cost us a dollar. Literally, it does not cost you a dollar to change the time that you are eating your food. And you can download a free app to track yourself or just put it on paper or set an alarm or whatever. You don't need anything fancy. You can spend zero dollars. There's something we can do that costs nothing that can decrease our instance of cancer and obesity and disease. Okay. Yeah, I'm in. Count me in. And if you allow time in between meals, your digestion can complete a full cycle where residual undigested food material is literally swept through your digestive tract like a broom, like a vacuum. I talk a lot about fiber being like that broom for your digestive tract and also like the terrazyme is a broom, you know, where it's just cleaning out all that stuff that needs to get out of its way. Now we're going to get nerdy again for a minute because one study published in the New York Journal of Medicine revealed data about a range of health benefits associated with the practice. And these include a longer life, a leaner body, and a sharper mind. Um, yes, please. Hi. I'd like uh, all the above, please. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'd like all of those. Uh, and the article also explained that many things happen during the intermittent fasting time that can protect your organs against, again, talking about this again, chronic diseases like type two diabetes, inflammatory bowel disease, and many cancers. So these are things that make a huge impact and it costs you zero dollars to change the time of day that you are eating. And like I said, best of all, it's free. It doesn't cost you anything to adjust your eating schedule. All you need is discipline. And I know that can sometimes feel overwhelming, but that's why we break it down into just one penny at a time, 
one day at a time. You don't have to go crazy and feel like this is, you know, a militant lifestyle. That's why I encourage you to use the word gentle. This is gentle. Try it for a day. Try it for a week. Try it for two weeks. I found that after the first week, it was just like, oh yeah, this is just what I do now. This is just what I do. And, um, you know, maybe when you have a very busy schedule, so you're not gonna be thinking about food and you're not gonna be sitting around a lot that you can kind of kickstart your body into that rhythm. But the discipline does come with time. I truly believe that discipline is like a muscle that can be strengthened and commitment, the follow through, the pennies in your health bank, just like brushing your teeth every day, you become disciplined early on in life because you know how important it is that you brush your teeth and that becomes second nature because you know that that's just what you do. And the same can be said for filling up your diffuser, my diffuser's back there, right? Filling up your diffuser, taking your vitamins every day, and you may decide that that's not for you and that's okay. It doesn't have to be for you. That's not, life is not a one size fits all, but this is one option from the buffet that you may say, mm, okay, that intrigues me, that resonates with me. Let me chat with Hillary for a second. Let me learn a little bit more. Let me ask some more questions. Um, but so many trusted people close to me had such great results and are continuing. And some of them have been doing this for five and six years. I was just so curious because also as a trusted advisor in this wellness community, I want to be able to speak to these different, you know, modalities and these different options for supporting different people with different challenges. Like my father-in-law with his diabetes, he doesn't have diabetes anymore since March of 2021 to now his diabetes is gone. So we use these tools to change his life and that is powerful and we can do that without chemicals and without over-the-counter drugstore stuff without those you know tummy remedies that don't even work and we have the power to do that so when i uh, have the opportunity to learn i want to be a human guinea pig so that i can have this experience and then i can share it with you so i'm really glad that i tried this and i wanted to share with you a couple other intermittent fasting benefits that the research has revealed so far so the research reveals that it improves your digestion and reduces food cravings it boosts your immune system by combating the microbes and the viruses and the bad bacteria it reduces inflammation and head tension which i experienced so many of these so it really made sense and aligned with me when i looked at the results that i was starting to accumulate and they were piling up and I realized, okay, wow, this is matching what the science is saying. Um, it increased my mental focus and clarity and the science is saying that it increases your focus and mental clarity. And then depending on what foods you choose to eat, weight loss is also a byproduct by releasing norepinephrine, which is aid, aiding your body in burning fat. And intermittent fasting also has been shown to lower blood pressure. So these are all awesome things, right? And while your digestive system is at rest, during the fasting window, your body will be working to cleanse and reset your gut flora with the help of your Terrazyme Gut Glitter on board. And that is going to help you soothe and digest and rest your digestive system. And when your body turns the food, um, turns the, um, the body fat as the main source of energy, it also starts to get rid of those dead cells and it eliminates toxins, eliminating fatty tissue, cleans the toxins and waste products in the gut getting them out of there, improving digestion, reducing oxidative damage, which is which leads to cancer, and reducing inflammation. So these are all the things that the research is saying. And then you can compare that with the results that I experienced in the last 448 days at the time this broadcast was being recorded, in case you're watching a year from now, five years from now. I started that in October 2020. So fasting also has been proven to help fight infection and help boost the immune system, which, one of, which was one of the main reasons that I wanted to try it because we are in a global pandemic and you know I, I want to protect myself and I want to do anything that I can to protect myself, my family, my community, and the world needs more of that right now. So I was all in and I'm glad that I was. Now, some studies showed that fasting could potentially also reduce the number of infectious bacteria present in your system. And when you're fasting, your body will maintain a healthy glucose level. So the bacterial infections, they need glucose levels to survive. So if, if it's not there, then the bacteria can't survive. The bacterial infections can't survive. So they can't feed on anything there. So if you're constantly feeling gassy, bloated, uncomfortable after meals, if you have chronic cramping after meals, it may be something to consider. And now I wanna bust a couple myths real quick before we end. So myth number one, that you can't have coffee while you're fasting. This is false. You can absolutely have your morning coffee, but it should be without milk or sugar. Um, you can drink black tea, green tea, anything without calories, like water with essential oil is fine, sparkling water is totally fine as well. Myth number two, 
you have to fast the same time every day. Also false, okay? The reason that it can be so sustainable is because of how flexible it is and each day is different. And this is my, my model of intermittent fasting. This is the way that I do intermittent fasting. There are a lot of people out there that maybe you are familiar with some of them. Maybe you know some of them, maybe it's turned you off from, from the idea. They, they may be a little bit more militant about it. And hey, if that works for them, that's totally cool. You do you, boo, right? But I don't like that. That did not resonate with me. And so I choose what is going to work for me. This is my body, this is my life, right? So I wanna make that choice. I wanna be a deliberate creator in how I'm showing up to my day. So we typically eat around the same time every day and I use the app that I track and I put it in my stories today so you could see what it looks like. It's like a circular timer and it's great because it takes the guesswork out and like I said, I, I'm a busy working mom. I do not want to have fuss, but I love the sticker chart element of it. I love the discipline just like with my workouts. I like to check off that I did it. It feels like a sense of accomplishment that if nothing else goes right in my day, at least I got one thing right, you know? So I love that it does the work for me. And when those days start to add up and the pennies in your health bank start to add up and you're like, okay, this is something real. Now I'm starting to see those changes. You start to feel different. You start to see yourself different. Your clothes start to fit differently then you realize, okay, you know what? This is working. So again, we typically eat around the same time every day. Um, and once you log into your fast, it automatically lets you know how your eating window is progressing. So if you have like a wedding or a social event where you're eating a little later or you're on vacation or something like that, or you're flying or whatnot, you can just log in when you're ready and it automatically calculates when it's time to break your fast the next day. So you just set it for how many hours you wanna do. Like I do 16 hours fasted and eight hour eating window. So it's, the app is already calibrated and it's free. It doesn't cost anything to do that. Myth number three, fasting is restrictive and you have to deprive yourself and it's just for losing weight. Also false, okay? This is an outdated and uninformed narrative. And if you notice, I did not talk about weight loss in anything other than when someone asked the question because I really want to get away from that narrative. I want you to start thinking about things at a systemic level and at the root of, of what's going on in your body. Why are you choosing to eat? What are you choosing to eat? Is there a reason why? So when you, when you focus on your digestive support, um, you know, it is a whole different ball game. And like someone commented there, when you start to make these changes, your body changes, your brain changes, it rewired the way that I view food. And so I don't crave the same things that I did before. And even if you're eating healthy snacks, if you're eating lots of granola, lots of dried fruits, that's a lot of sugar. If you're eating a lot of dried of, of nuts, that's a lot of fat. So even though those things can be good for you in moderation, if you're eating another meal's worth of calories, that's just not going to serve your goals late, late at night when your body and your digestive system really wants to reboot. So that is a false, false myth. Instead of the word restrict, reframe that narrative, just reframe it a little bit, a little shift, and think about letting your body gently rest peacefully without interruption from food. So you can start to realize that it's not about what you can't do, but it's about what you're holding space for your body to do. You're giving your body a gift, you're saying, I am passing the baton to you, body. I am letting you take over now. It is your turn to do your work. And the discipline is kind of amazing, I have to say. Like, it kind of makes me feel really proud of myself. And that is a feeling that you want to keep so that you can continue to put those deposits in your health and wellness bank, right? So think of yourself, like I said, like when you log into your fast, Envision that you are passing the baton to your digestive system. You're delegating the work. You're like, okay, here, it's work for you. You know, it's now it's your turn. I've done my work for the day. Now you do your work for the day, digestive system. And I'm honoring my body. You're honoring your body. You're giving your body that time to do what it needs. And that way you are not in the way until you break your fast the next morning. And you may have assigned guilt to snacking in the evening, but you may have done it anyway because it's just what you do and you were sort of wired to do that. And with fasting, there is no calorie counting, at least for the gentle inter intermittent fasting that I subscribe to. Um, I do not assign guilt to anything like that because it's just not healthy. That is not a healthy narrative for me. So there's no depriving yourself. You focus on eating during your eating window. And like I said, it rewired my brain, it changed my relationship with food and it improved my mental clarity and improved my digestion, like I mentioned already. 
So being mindful that you're getting enough protein will help you along the way. Um, that is really a key that will help you feel like you're finding joy in your food that will help you sustain the habit when you're getting enough protein that your body needs. You feel good, you feel supported, and you can focus on living your life not thinking about what's my next meal gonna be? What's my next meal gonna be? I am hungry, I need a snack. Okay, you may not be. You may just feel bored or stressed or tired. And so you will probably notice weight loss if you choose the right foods to eat during your eating window, yes. You will also probably start to observe that you eat less at your meals because you are more in tune with your body and you're not just eating to constantly be eating. You're really tapped into your body and making that mind-body connection. And the reason to try intermittent fasting has so much more to it. It has so many more health benefits than weight loss. So I hope that you feel like that is the takeaway. This is not only about weight loss. That is a sub, that is a, a perk, a side perk, so to speak. Um, and you can discover other outlets instead of eating when you feel tired or bored or stressed or anxious. You can walk, you can exercise, you can play a game or do a puzzle or, you know, whatever that might look like in your day. Um, and you'll quickly see that your appetite will start to change too, along with those changes. And you can Google for lots of fast breaking meal ideas that appeal to you. I know that you know everyone has their own um, food nutritional limitations. Maybe someone's gluten free, maybe someone's vegan. So you know it doesn't really make sense for me to spend all of our bandwidth tonight on going down a line of tons and tons of meal ideas, but I pretty much keep it simple um, and that keeps it sustainable for me. So just give you one example of a fast breaker meal for me. I love a good veggie scramble with a few eggs um, packed with tons of veggies and avocado because the avocado is packed with healthy fats and all of that. And I don't have any food sensitivities. I don't have any allergies. We don't have any allergies in our family or anything like that. Um, but drinking lots of water when you break your fast and when you consume your protein first, you always want to make sure that you're eating your protein First. And so we always add whatever leftover protein that we had from dinner, like salmon or chicken, and that keeps me full until dinner when I'm breaking my fast. And, and you can also pair it with um, the doTERRA fiber. The doTERRA fiber is such a game changer when you are talking about intermittent fasting because this contains 22 grams of fiber, of not fiber, of protein per scoop. And that is basically half almost half the protein you need in a day, depending on your size and your age and your metabolic needs and stuff like that that's about half of your needs. So if you broke your fast with a protein shake and your, um, your eggs or your veggie scramble or you know some lean protein that you maybe had left over the next day, that's a great fast breaker. And then for dinner, we usually just make a lean protein like fish. We love mahi-mahi and salmon, chicken, steaks, nitrate-free sausage, um, and double portions of veggies. And it makes it really easy for busy weeknights. And hopefully by now, I have you wanting to maybe give this a try and you are maybe wondering how do I start? Well, I've always got you covered. So I'm going to be also following this up next week with a detailed carousel post with all of this, all the kickstart, quick start guide information for you so that you can just kind of watch this and absorb what you feel like resonates with you. And you can come back to it if you feel like you want that information and you want to give it a try in the future. So here is my simple four step quick start guide. Step one is start by selecting a day and an approach that is going to generally work for you on a daily basis. So I found the most gentle and sustainable model for me was the 16 hour fast and eight hour eating window. This means 16 hours that you are not eating and eight hours that you are eating. And most of the time that you are fasting, you are sleeping, you are asleep. So that's like a freebie, it's like an easy button. And the common question that I get also is, if you skip a meal, if you just skip breakfast, does that count as fasting? It absolutely does if you are not eating or drinking anything with calories or fat before you break your fast. But if you're waking up and having a latte from Starbucks and thinking, oh, well, I skipped breakfast so that that counts as a fast, that does not count. So if you're drinking something with cream and sugar, that, that breaks your fast. But yes, if you are drinking black coffee plain or black, co black tea or water, LaCroix, you know, water with essential oil, then that is absolutely, that does count as, as fasting. So you just want to be mindful of the time that you ate your last um, bite of food before bed and that is when the clock starts and then when you if you skip breakfast and you just go straight to lunch then that's completely 100 percent intermittent fasting you're doing it so you may be already doing it already and you weren't giving yourself credit so give yourself a gold star if that is you <laughs> and um, be sure that you are sharing your goals and plans with your family so that you can plan accordingly now olivia goes to bed very early because she has a very early bus pickup 
Um, so early dinner works for us and that way she's not eating like a bunch of snacks after school. She'll usually have like an apple with um, some almond butter or cashew butter and you know some mango or something like that, some nuts. But we don't want like a very long period of time going between when she gets home from school and when we eat dinner because she's hungry and we all want to eat as well. And with George's work schedule, he works midnights. And so with my fast, this actually aligned really well for us because it's flexible to the day. And if, like I said, if you're going to a wedding or you're going to a party or something and you're not going to be able to, uh, you know, you want to enjoy that social time of eating with your friends and family later in the evening, then that's fine. You just start the clock a little later and then the next day you break your fast a little bit later. So it's super flexible day to day. Then step two is use a free app. I cannot stress that enough. You don't have to do it obviously, but a free app takes the guesswork out of it. It tracks your data. And like I said, I am a sticker chart person. I love the satisfaction of seeing all the days add up and it makes me want to continue that discipline. It makes me so proud that it's like a actual manifestation of those pennies in my health thing and I can see it and I feel it and I love that. So um, my typical fast begins around 6 p.m., sometimes 5.30, sometimes 5.45, typically around the 5.30, 6 p.m. Time frame, time frame, and then I break um, later around 10 a.m. So that is 16 hours fasted, eight hour eating window. And most people enjoy the 8 p.m. to noon fasting window, that that works for people that if their kids have soccer practice and they're not getting home until later to start cooking dinner, then that works really well for them. So, um, and if you like to drink wine or you know whatever you might enjoy in the evening, you can still do that. There's no restriction. There's no guilt associated with having a glass of wine if that's what you like to do. And that way, then you have an eating window where you can eat whatever you like, the foods you're already eating. There's no shift, there's no change unless the foods are not healthy foods, then it's completely up to you. But um, you can eat whatever foods that you want to eat between the hours of 12 noon and 8 p.m. And the reason that this is such a gentle approach is because each day you have the flexibility. You can clock in your fast whenever you're ready and it's free. It doesn't cost anything to adjust the time frame that you're eating. And like I said, you don't need anything, but I just found it really helpful to have an app so that you literally tap a button and then your button, you just tap it again to log out of your fast and it tracks all that data for you. Step three, use your fiber as a secret weapon. And I love this so much. And I talk about fiber a lot. I've talked about fiber um, with my father-in-law's protocol for his blood pressure and his kidneys and his everything. And it's so awesome for so many things. I feel like really fiber and magnesium are like probably, well, and Terrazyme, like three of my favorite, favorite products of all time because they just do so much and they really cover so much ground. But fiber is a secret weapon. So you can mix this up uh, after dinner and this will not only help prevent you from overeating, but it will also keep you feeling full after dinner when you may be triggered to snack. So you're gonna feel full and you're not gonna be thinking about a snack. This is also gonna then start helping you break the habit of feeling compelled to eat a snack in the morning. And it has a little fun fact, it also has prebiotic fiber already in it, or I'm sorry, yeah, the prebiotics, the prebiotics from the PB Assist in there already. So if you maybe run out of your PB Assist, your probiotic, and you do not have it, you can get it already in your fiber. And after the first week or so, it really gets easier and you just, it becomes a part of your life and you are not even gonna think about it anymore. And so I call the fiber the chimney sweeper for your gut because it keeps you full after dinner, you don't wake up feeling bloated. And also a little fun fact, a little spoiler alert, a sample, pack of fiber comes in month two of the digestive toolkit. So that is going to be really fun. So keep an eye out for that when that launches on February 1st. But fiber is such a great tool. So the fiber, and then when you are breaking your fast, enjoying the protein with 22 grams of protein. So between the protein and between the fiber, doTERRA has got you covered from head to toe from morning to night. And I cannot wait to hear how you like the fiber to me. It actually tastes like a dessert. It tastes like a treat. Um, tastes like a little bit like watered down apple cider. And you can add a drop of lemon oil to it and make it like even a little bit more kind of fruity. Uh, but it is delicious and I love it. And I think it has really been one of the big catalysts for me for staying sustainable and getting me over the hump of changing the way that my brain was wired to have snacks at night. And last but not least, have accountability reach out to a friend or family member and ask if they'd like to try it. You can tag them in this in the video in the replay when I share it um, right after we wrap. Connect with a Facebook group or Instagram pages that are talking about fasting. It is such a popular practice. I had no idea that so many people that I knew were long-term intermittent fasters. I had no idea. And um, 
you know, you can share recipes, you can chat about it, you can celebrate your successes together. And if you don't have anyone in your life that wants to join you, I am always here. I am participating in your progress. I am rooting you on and cheering for you. I would love for you to send me a little screenshot of your streaks, you know, how many days in a row that you've tried this and how you're feeling. If you are struggling with meal ideas or things like that, I would love to help you. So reach out to me. I'm here in the cloud and this is something that is incredible, it's such a great tool. And like I said, it costs zero dollars to just change the time of day that you're eating your food. So I'm here, um, if this is something you wanna learn more about and dig a little deeper into creating a daily protocol for you and some meal ideas and really get specific about some other tools we can use to support you, reach out to me, we can book a support session, um, we can book a coaching session where I can share more of my in-depth personal experience with you, a little bit more about my daily routine and things like that. Um, but to quickly recap, we covered some basic understanding of our digestive system and really just laid the foundation for why it's so important for all of our body systems, but especially our digestion and our immune system. And we covered the daily protocol that you will be able to implement to take the guesswork out of supporting your gut health with the digestive toolkit number one, month one. And um, I also briefly shared some information on those myth busters and reasons that intermittent fasting can really help improve your digestion and your overall health this year. And don't forget after the broadcast, send me a message and I will send you your own copy of this tracker sheet that I created so that you can color them in, check them off, feel that sense of accomplishment and see your goals start to materialize for you. A few housekeeping items before we wrap our broadcast tonight. I have detailed videos on all of the other five wellness programs that are like this, the immune support, mind and mood, the sleep kit, the respiratory kit, and the relief kit. Um, so if you're curious about what those can do for you, also you can find those in my YouTube archive or you can reach out to me and I can, I can just tag you in that post so you can find it super easily. Um, we can always schedule a one-on-one -on -one support session if you wanna purchase oils or any of the products that you see me talking about. You can tap the link directly in my Instagram profile or you can send me a message and I'll put a link together for you. And I cannot wait to just connect with you and help you turn all of your challenges into simple solutions this year. And I would also love for you to mark your calendar, same time, same cozy place on February 10th. That'll be my next continuing education broadcast. Thank you for being a friend. Thank you for learning and growing together with me and embracing some of these new ideas and new concepts. And that is a wrap on broadcast number 228. Stay tuned for more community and for more connection, for more ongoing and evolving conversation as we grow together. And speaking of conversation, I would love to know when you catch the replay, um, will any of these tools that we talked about tonight, will any of these be new to you? Are you gonna maybe give intermittent fasting a try? Um, comment below and let me know and I will see you next time.